Hi friends, welcome to Locust Street Cottage. Today we're gonna to talk about the very best rabbit hutch and play yard that you can build or buy for your outdoor rabbit. Let's go! I see this question a lot and I know right now there's a big push for keeping rabbits indoors and having indoor free roam rabbits. And I'll discuss that in another video why I don't do that and why it may not be perfect for everybody. Here's the star of our show, Quinn. He gives me the most trouble. You can see he just dug a little hole right there. He's a little upset that flower is right here. The first thing you want to make sure your hutch has is lots of doors, like as many doors as possible. The bunny ranch here was actually a chicken coop I purchased on Amazon. Uh, it said it would hold three to four chickens, but mm, no. We did elevate it on these two by fours here. Uh, I did not want this. It's like balsa wood sitting on the ground. I wanted to have an area where I knew I was gonna do deep bedding for the chickens. And so I'm happy that we did that. So that runs along most of the sides, but back to the doors. This bunny ranch has one, two, three, four doors and this nesting box which opens and I put their hay in there. Additionally, when we built this two by six wall right there, uh, we left this side open so that I could get in there and clean out because the chickens were roosting in this area at night. And ultimately that's why doors are important to be able to get in, the bigger the door, the easier it is to get in and clean it out. Let's look at Flower's Hutch. After learning what I did with this hutch here, when I purchased Flower's Hutch, I made sure it had loads of doors. So Flower actually has one, two, this big one here. There is a big one here on this wall that will go out to this run. And over here on this side is another small door even. When I have to clean out Flower's Hutch, it's really easy. I can just open any of the doors, I can get a regular size hay fork in there, and I just scoop it all out. Now, this is a run that I built to go on to Flower's Hutch, and it has one big door here that lifts up, it's two by four, and it also has this big door here so that Mr. Quinn can come out into his yard. Eventually Mr. Quinn will be living with the girls and so this entire hutch and yard will be flowers and that was the initial intent. With this door open it is super easy to clean out Quinn's run. Um, just beware that this is a two foot span and bunnies as big as Quinn can and will hop out if they see the door is open. I don't think so, sir. That's not what's happening right now. The other thing your hutch and runs need is plenty of headspace. It is recommended that hutches be at least 18 inches tall so rabbits can stand on their hind legs. Um, my hutch, all of my hutches and runs are at least two feet tall and of course my preference is to allow them to run in the yard. I guess Quinn's not gonna come perform for us. He's back out here laying down. The third thing that's super important for super bunnies is hidey holes. And as you can see in this hutch, one of the reasons I really liked it is it has something called, I call it the loft. And there's a little hole right here. It did come with a ramp because they said it was for chickens. Uh, bunnies can absolutely jump that high, so. I didn't leave the ramp in there and both Quinn and Flower have had no problem, but I like to put Flower's food and water up here because it doesn't get wet, although it looks like Flower needs water. And um, he came with a little stuffed animal, so his little stuffed animal is in, for him, in here for him. And he does, if he gets scared, the neighbor dogs start barking, he will run in there and, and hide. Let me get him some water. So sorry, buddy. The girls have their hidey hole right there. It goes into this section. 
where the chickens used to roost. Additionally, I've added these nesting boxes, which does need if they're gonna be kindling. So there's two other areas in there where they can run in and hide. This is the bunny cam I have inside the hutch for the girls. So I could see them if they need any help or more pellet. We have to remember that rabbits are prey animals. So unlike cats and dogs, they're not gonna stay and fight. They're not really sure they can outrun the person, the predator that's trying to eat them. So they are pretty skittish and they will wanna hide in their hidey holes quite often. The fourth thing buddies need is a good place for food and water. Now I did put Flower's water out here in his yard right now, but as I said, typically I keep it up here in the loft. His food is up here. I keep those up here just to keep them out of the rain because pellet will get ruined if it gets wet. Quinn has a bulk water and I just put his pellet in a bowl because this is a temporary situation for him. I do have a bin that I put his bowl in that makes that puts it under cover so that if it is raining, his pellet doesn't get wet. And I just gave him fresh hay as well. If you wanna hear about why hay is so important, you can click that link up there because I had did a whole video about how important I think hay is for your rabbit. This is the water that the girlies have and when Quinn was in here, of course. Um, it is a baby pig water and it's great for feeding several bunnies at the same time. Uh, bunnies prefer a bowl. Bunnies will drink more if they have a bowl rather than one of the ball, uh, you know, ball lick waters that you see that they sell like in uh, feed stores or pet stores. This is actually a better system for them. And the girl's food is kept in here, I will show you. Their feeder is a typical J feeder, but it's actually also made for baby pigs. And so it holds a lot of pellet and this is where I keep it so it's out of the rain. And as I said before, I put their hay in the nesting box so it stays dry. The fifth thing you'll need when you let your rabbits out to play in their yard is something to scare away hawks. And typically we haven't seen hawks here, but I did happen to see one about a week ago, and so I'm, I'm being extra careful. Another thing I use is this bird tape here. So it's this holographic material that is supposed to confuse birds, and I just put it on this uh, PEX pipe. I'm going to, you know, eventually secure that on there. And I wove it through the fence so that I can move it with the fence. Uh, plastic is not a conductor. So we have Mr. Owl there and another piece of bird tape right here. Bird tape is uh, five bucks for 25 feet or something like that. Each of these pieces is five feet. So depending on how big your bunny yard is. I also try to keep my bunnies under the trees so that they have shade. That was one of the reasons why we put the chickens there. We knew they would be under the shade all day once the trees leaf out. That will also deter aerial predators. And uh, But I felt like they were coming out here a little bit too far. I moved their yard today. So I did put a little bit extra stuff up and I've been staying out here the whole time. Still haven't seen any predators, so we're probably okay. Now our very final and sixth thing that I think is just imperative if you're gonna have bunnies and is a little bit controversial even amongst people that keep colonies is a play yard. I strongly believe that bunnies do best on pasture and with the ability to run, not just in a rabbit tractor. Um, so I bought these electric fences. Now let's be clear about the electric fences. If you have a buck like Mr. Quinn, you're going to need a tall fence. Quinn here is enclosed by a 48 inch Premier One electric fence. Uh, the charger is just like the lowest grade charger we can get because we don't want to hurt Quinn and that can happen. We just want him to have a little boop if he decides to challenge the fence. Um, also, I have doubled and sometimes tripled this fence as you can see right here. It's actually tripled. 
Um, but at least doubled for Mr. Quinn because he is a tricky bunny and he will get out of a single layer fence. Mr. Flower here is a neutered male and he has no interest in leaving his yard. He is perfectly happy to bounce around where I put him and he rests and he does all of his bunny things. I have found that does also don't have much desire to escape the fence. <laughs> Somebody's got the zoomies and binkies. Um, so they are easy to keep in with the shorter fence as well. Uh, eventually they will be these three, uh, Calico, Kitty, and Quinn will be running with the chickens over here where the chickens are and they'll have a, the, the large fence, the 48 fit in fence will be over there. Until that time, they are in the short fence, and then at that time when all three of them go over there, uh, Flower will just have the short fence and he'll have his own yard. But right now, they're definitely enjoying some of these greenery, and yeah, it does cut down on the feed bill. Kitty, where are you going? You just gonna make a hole under that tree? Oh, two holes. Well, good for you. Good luck with that. I think there's some bricks down there. So what's your take on it? Do bunnies need an outside yard? Do they need a hutch they can run around in? How much pellet should they eat? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like what you saw, you can subscribe right there. You can watch more videos right there. Bye.